Watch out, aliens! Sheriff Chocobo's in town, and he's ready to kick some butt and take some names. Let's take a look around town one final time before the end of the game. Yes, the last battle is, is coming very soon. I'm always fighting bad guys. I'm a hero! And he'll give me something for my being a hero. Wow! Chinaman is holding out on us. It's a great bomb! It's only one, so be careful how you use it. It doesn't work like a normal bomb. It stays in our inventory, like everything else he sells us. Who's your daddy? Oh, man, that's really dis that's disturbing that they put in, who's your daddy? See? There? Okay, it's not there. Whatever. We have it. That's all we need to know. He gave it to us for free, too. Speaking of bombs, I need more of them. I used them up on Baron Alps. Before he dropped his underpants and gave us a zeal coin. Holy cow. 300 bucks. Jump change. Thanks, Color Butch. I got a cold sore in my mouth and it's making me talk weird. Enough about my personal life. Let's continue on with Gunman's Proof. Alright. There's only one way we could get to Demi. And that's talk to Captain Useless. Right over here. Hey, Garo! How you doing? We haven't talked to you all game. Oh, he found a way into Demi's lair! Robotan? What does he have to do with anything? Whoa! He made a Super Robotan? Holy cow, we need to get us some Super Robotan. Just use him if it, or, There is no escape. There is only murder! Demi murder! He could warp any time to the Demi Seed base. But first we have to find us a Robotan. So let's do that. I got plenty of drill arm. I don't need any more drill arm, thank you. No more drill arm, I'm looking for carrot. I require a carrot. Anybody got a carrot for me? These aliens need to start eating more carrots. Their eyesight is terrible. Their gunmanship is terrible. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. Let's call down Super Robotan! Oh, okay. I don't even know what that pose is all about. Yep. Let's go. Enemy base. Flying Robotan! <laughs> Holy cow. Why? And apparently he can't kill things. And it makes him bored really fast. Alright. Welcome to the final dungeon. Demi's Lair. It's just one big boss rush. One big boss rush. I can't pronounce my H's because it is cold sore. I hate it. I hate it a lot. I hate it the most. I also hate this guy. It's Jar Jar Binks Totem Pole again. Brand new body. It looks exactly the same. Maybe he colored. He, he changed the colors around. It's not like he's going to be completely easy now that we have four times attack power and the Magnum. Yeah, remember how hard this guy was last time? When we had the pistol and no power? Wow, this guy's a chump now. That's right, I have a power suit and this giant watermelon gun bullet thing. Oh, there goes... What is his name? Miracle 5. Miracle 5 is dead forevermore. Who else is going to die? Who's next in the boss rush? Okay, I'm just gonna stop saying boss rush because it's it's making me lisp. It's Ninja Man! Ninja Cowboy Man. What's his name again? Psycho Ninja? Psycho Mantis? Oh yeah. Demi just blabbed to everybody about my secret identity. He will strike you down with the whole of his power. Well I have a whole bullet for you. That's right. Take that. I'm not afraid of you, I'm not afraid of flame shotguns either. See, you're already dead. My bullets are passing through you. You gonna try your ninja colony drop now? Huh? How vexing! Hey, you lost to a ten-year-old with an alien in his brain. Get it right. If the universe has his dojo, he'll train as a psycho space ninja. Well, at least he has a happy ending. He doesn't get to die. 
He just has to forever live with the guilt of dying to a ten-year-old. Twice. Wonderful. Who's next? Who else is gonna get beat? I like how they, they don't have the specialized tiles anymore, it's just skulls. Okay, who is it now? What the heck? Isn't this supposed to be Ghost Suzuki? No, it's Mecha Galahad E3. It's Galahad E3 2013. Liftoff! What's different about this guy? We haven't seen anything different so far. Oh, he has robot heads now. And he shoots missiles out of his holes. Oh, that's just disturbing. Oh, okay, he only has one head. Either that or we did a ridiculous amount of damage to him with these bullets. Oh, okay. He's gonna do that charge whenever he loses a head. And he lost his elemental fire, too. Come on, show that head. Well, at least Galahad E3 isn't, you know, a complete chump. He actually had an upgrade. He wasn't completely weak. Alright, time for that last head to go away. That's right, you're dead now. Come on. Stop shooting missiles and explode, I have other things to do today. That's right. Good. Good riddance to Galahad E3. I had the holy grail of bullets. He couldn't survive. He wasn't pure of heart enough. Who's next? Oh, these two losers. The unemployed CEOs of Monkeys Incorporated. Sally and Mary. What is a drubbing? I'm not British. British Sailor Moon, sure, why not? So I'm afraid we're going to have to lose twice! Oh no, we have to fight them together. That means two times the fire punches! Two times the Kami Chun Li combination wannabes. Come on, let's do it. I can take you both on. Check out these bullets, they're huge! I also have this. That's right. Die in the exact same spot. Yeah, drills hurt, don't they? What the heck, they were mind controlled? Ha 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 ha! They were mind controlled the whole time. Skimpy Chun Li outfits, that's what you get. I guess Demi mind controlled them to be. I don't know. Live action Street Fighter actors. Street Fighter is a terrible movie. He will die for his crimes of jaywalking and making Street Fighter. Alright, I guess that's done with the bosses now. We don't get to fight Ghost Suzuki again. He he went off somewhere. We also don't get to fight uh, Baron Alps because he lost his underpants. Instead, we get Robo Indians. This is the last little challenge before the first boss, like, like this is a challenge. Like, I need more money. Like, I need boomerang tomahawks. Check out over here, you're gonna miss some good stuff. Like, three lives! We got nine lives, I think we are cat hero. Meow. And a full health. Alright, I think we're well equipped for this boss now. Okay, Demi, it's time for you to go down. Ooh, nice little uh, decor you got going on there, Demi. And uh, apparently Thomas Edison came from this place. Great! Demi was Thomas Edison, who would have thought? Yes, we get it, long hallway. Here he is! Check out that guy. Wow, he's robotastic. Oh, okay, that's mm -hmm. Demi. Hello, you want to turn the lights on so I can see you better? No? Fine. We'll have our evil monologue in the dark. Hero, villain monologue. Making you come all this way just to get you killed. Hey, look what I got. Check out this bomb. This is what you get for being evil and talking too much. Silence! We fight now. Or I just explode everything. Sure! 
Game over. We exploded ourselves. Yay! That was easy. Oh wait! He survived. What the heck was in that thing? Holy cow! They didn't have nuclear bombs back then. Well, at, it's called throwing a bomb at you to make you shut up. Ha ha ha, that's what you get. Oh, he's she's now. He's gonna turn on the lights and do things. Oh, only 70% complete. What were you doing this whole time? I was heroing it up and, I don't know, he was playing poker with his buddies. Time for action music! Action music! Alright. Action music. Monologue. Done. Bomb. Throne. Robot. 70% complete. Let's battle Demi! First phase of Demi's fight, you have to blow off those arms. And he'll do those. He'll shoot angels at you. Just take care of his arms! It's a good idea to get one out of the way early, because he'll do that. Just keep on... Whoa! No, do not do. I don't like drills. See? You had a drill arm. Where is it now? Yay! Buzzsaws! Whoa! He's shooting buzzsaws! You know, for a robot that's only 70% complete, he has a lot of tools on this thing. Yeah. What do you think now? Up. Oh. He can shoot those things in passing. Unlike the other one. I don't think he can shoot that in passing. Yeah, now where are your arms? You're only 45% complete now. Oh! Well, now Demi's flying around and there's a head. I guess it's 25% complete. And the Statue of Liberty's head is shooting at us. Well, I have a drill arm to pick with you. Yeah, use up all my drill arms. Die, Demi! Die with the power of drill! I damaged 96% of a 70% done robot. I defeated you! He can't believe it! Ah. Hey, we got a red materia. You received red materia! Demi materia! Demi's supposed to be blue, I think. It's a magic materia. What's wrong with this game? It does not follow Final Fantasy VII rules. Rank B, because we did it too darn fast. Why? No treasure. But we completed the game! Check out that score! Almost 40 million points. Maybe I should have ran around and shot more. But no, what's the point of that? Oh no, that was a load-bearing Demi. Like every NES and Nintendo game ever. Load-bearing boss. Yes, he's gonna bury us in here. He ain't going back. I guess we could add that to his crimes, being a load-bearing... villain. Hey, Super Robotan! Just in the nick of time. One time I finished this game and he came down as Sailor Robotan. It was very hilarious. Fortunately, this time he had tea. Let's get out of here! That's not how you ride a donkey. That is terrible. Little AC? What's wrong with you? And the island sinks into the sea. Game over! Look up there! Look in the sky! Is it a bird? It's a plane! No, it's just a flying donkey. The mountain has turned into Mount Rushmore. Right? Are we going to see what the mountain looks like? No? Fine. Oh, we come crashing to Earth. I'm back! Wait, he could talk again? That means he doesn't have an alien in his brain. Why are we suddenly not mute? Our mission is over, I guess. We could talk now. The rules of protagonist no longer applies. And Garrow's just looking on. I think you put us through just enough, thank you. I don't think we could take any more of this. 
Now let's get this alien out of our brain. That's what happens when you get an alien removed from your brain. You die. There's nothing to worry about until he turns 20 and realizes he has brain cancer. Oh, that's terrible. I shouldn't have made that joke. Yeah, he just lost all of his power and his clothes turned back to normal. That's what happened. Just don't mention anything and don't explain why he has a gun that shoots huge, bu huge bullets. I don't think he could take that. HQ? They're from the planet Sneeze. Robotan stuck here. <laughs> the ship's only meant for two and it's the size of a baseball. You can't stick in there with that. Think again. Think more. You've been abandoned. You gotta live here as a talking donkey. Alright, we'll make a compromise. Once Demi's in jail, we'll pick you up. Yay! Happy ending! In about 50 years. In about seven Zurls, we will return. Welcome to Coneheads Part 2. I don't want to be friends with some weird alien that jumps in my brain and makes me do things that involve adventure. I wonder how the kid is going to react to having a tonky donkey as a pet. I guess nothing. Robotan's going to have to shut his yap, I guess. He remembers nothing of our adventure. Of his adventure. I wonder if anybody's going to explain to him that he was just a, a vessel. Nothing at all. I mean, the mountain exploded. You have a, a gun, different clothes on. You have a talking donkey now. It's weird. This has been Gunman's Proof. And Robotan exploded. I don't know why. A wizard did it. Game over. Happy ending. Cheers all around! Let's see those credits. Oh! Well, there goes the space sheriffs. Going black back to planet Achu. Or Achq. Whatever you want to pronounce it. I'm going to pronounce it planet Achu. There they are! That's how they ride their spaceship. On the outside. There is no steering wheel. It's controlled by alien powers. And they just drag Demi along behind them. Hey, you know what would be really funny right now? What? We go next to an asteroid and then turn really hard and smack him into it. That's what he gets. The end. Now for the credits, right? Let's see those credits. What credits? No credits? Holy cow! There, there's no credits. Wow. ASCII. This is actually a pretty good game. Why would you not want to take credit for this? Lenar? Nakagawa Isami? Akihito Tomisawa? Anybody want to speak up? Surely more than two people made this game. Wow. Well, there is one credit I do want to give. You come over here to the hello button. And it shows you the people that are involved in translating. Did that name and the bottom name look familiar? Gideon Z and Shitsu? They should. They were the editors and translators of Cave Story for Pixel. And that's why the story was so interesting. They didn't just translate, they added their own little spin. I'm Armor Chocobo, and this has been Gunman's Proof! for the 16-bit summer. I'll see you next time for another game for the 16-bit summer. Will it be as weird as this? I don't know. I don't think I could beat it, not by a long shot. Good night, folks.